Get all the burps out, okay. <laughs> Welcome folks, I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Natasha Martinez. Hola. And we're doing a Ryan George video. This is called The First Couple to Ever Get Divorced, featuring Julie... No. Noki. Noke. Mm -hmm. And so thank you, Ryan George, for allowing us to react to this. For those of you who don't know, we did an interview with Ryan George some time back. Fun, fun interview. If you're interested in his process, how he makes his videos, uh, that's a great way to get insight on that. And it's just a fun conversation overall. So uh, thank you, Ryan George, for allowing us to react to this. Here we go. Hey, so bad news. I'm absolutely miserable. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just having the worst time. Well, it's funny you should bring that up because I'm also having a terrible time just just on a daily basis. Oh, you are? Yeah, no, I'll be honest, this is this has not been fun. I think we're an ill-suited match. I don't want to be around you at all. That's, that's not great. No, no, I think I prefer to not be your wife. Oh, yeah, no, I prefer that as well. Because like, when you talk, the sound of your voice makes me feel like my ears are b bleeding. <laughs> Good. Yeah, the way you brush your teeth, it, it makes me want to impale you with a harpoon. I can, got that vibe for sure. I can see that in your eyes. So. Yeah. Yeah, what was once a lustful desire is now definitely more a harpoon related desire. Yeah, no, I feel the same way. I think we should break up. Oh my God. Can you imagine? That'd be so good. I bet we can't, though. Why? Well, I mean, we kind of promised, right? Remember? There was like a bunch of people there. There was a dude in the robe. Oh, the guy in the robe. Yeah. Oh, he made us promise to some pretty intense stuff, didn't he? Yeah, kept talking about his dog. No, he was saying God. Oh, yeah, no, that does make sense. You know what? <laughs> we also signed papers, remember? And we got those people to watch us sign them, and then we sent them to the government. We got the government involved, didn't we? Why did we do that? How is it even legal to make a promise that lasts forever anyway? It does feel unnecessarily long. Then again, I promised I was going to cut out sugar last year, and I did not do that. <laughs> you gained 15 pounds! That's probably from the stress of this marriage. I believe it. <laughs> yeah. I have grays just from waking up beside you every morning. Oh yeah, no, I noticed. I don't like looking at your face at all anymore. I kind of wish it looked more like mine, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> There's some deep psychological trauma there. So what do we do? Well, can't we just shred the papers? I feel like they probably made copies. Friggin' government. So now we have to live together till we die. There are a lot of years left. I could poison Ooh. you. Right, yeah, no, but then I'd be dead, so I don't love that option. I'm not in love with it. Well, I, but you wouldn't know, right? Because I'd do it all secret like. Yeah, but no, I find out. I don't, I don't like that plan at all. Okay, what about this? New idea. Spitball in here. <laughs> we sign a new paper. Oh, a new paper? Like a totally, like a different paper? Yeah, yeah. And we get the government to look over it this time too. But it's like a reverse wedding. Oh, so like we make our hate official. Okay, yeah, no, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, and then we get different people to watch us sign it. You think they do it for free? God, no. That makes sense. Yeah, no, I think they <laughs> That's not great. Right. No, no. Well, and I would take half your stuff. Wait, what? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> well, then I want half your stuff. Well, that's not fun for me. So, okay, we pay these people a bunch of money to watch us sign a new paper, and then we, do, we don't have to live in this hellhole at all anymore. That's the idea. Well, it sounds emotionally and financially draining, but also, like, totally worth it. I'd say so. I would just love, if I could, I would love to never see your face uh, ever again. Well, one can only hope. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm in. Let's do it. Do you think this will have an impact on the kids? No. Well. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, there's another one. The first couple to get married. I didn't, ah, I didn't realize. The prequel. The prequel to it. Maybe that's a, a more positive note. Yeah. Or it probably just goes into why, like, a lot of it just doesn't make sense for most people. I do want to watch this one and then review okay. both of them. So let's check this let's out. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, um, will you spend the rest of your life with me? Or. Uh, yeah. I think, I think so. That'd be great. Cool. How come you're down there? Oh, I was in my <laughs> shoe, and then I remembered I wanted to ask you that, so then I asked you that. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, also you dropped your ring. Whoa, cool. Thanks. I didn't even notice. Okay. <laughs> well, this is fun. Should we, like, I don't know, celebrate or what something? like, a big shower? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, okay. I invite a bunch of people. Oh. Oh, okay. So like we take turns in the shower? Or no, what? there'd be no actual showering. It would be more, this would be more of a party. Okay, so why, why'd you call it a shower? I <laughs> guess because I imagine maybe people showering us with gifts. That does sound nice. Yeah. Hopefully it'd be stuff we want. Yeah, that would be <laughs> Is there a way to force people to get us only stuff we like? Well, we can make a list. Oh, I'm listening. And we could be like, you guys, you gotta get us something from this list. Uh, nothing yeah. else, just. Well, it, it, somehow that sounds a little shady, but I'm into it. Great. You know what? I just decided I also want a bigger party. Okay, is this also a shower? No, this one's a party. So no gifts? No, it has gifts. 
Okay, I'm having trouble keeping these straight. I'm gonna wear all white. <laughs> oh, risky. Okay, how come? Well, it's virginal. Okay, that's not entirely accurate, but I'm, in, I'm into it. Yeah, and we're gonna have to do quite a bit of shopping because I feel like I'm gonna want to find the perfect dress. Okay, uh, well, you know, it's probably, it's maybe, maybe it's better if I don't see what you chose until the day of the party. Are you just saying that so you don't have to go shopping with me? No, no, I'm just <laughs> saying, I think, you know, that's it's more romantic if I don't see. Yeah, I guess that's... Cute. Oh, by the way, at this bigger party, I like all the men to wear ties around their heads when things really let loose. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It's not negotiable. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, fair enough. Ties around their. I head. think a fun activity might be you going under my dress and taking my garter off with your mouth. Yeah, uh, no, yeah, that would be a fun activity. Sure. In front of all of our blood relatives. Uh, no, I don't want that at all. Yeah, it's fun. For, fun for who? Everyone. And I think it might be also fun for you to slow dance with your mom. Okay, well, if we're just doing weird stuff, I think you should slow dance with your dad. You know what? I just decided I also want to squeeze in another party before the big party. Another party? The engagement that's, party? That's like a lot of parties. Oh, yeah, God. I want this one to be just me and my friends. Oh, and bachelorette. a lot of things shaped like penises. Okay, well, <laughs> then I guess I'll do one with my friends, too. Any genital-shaped accessories for you guys? No genital-shaped accessories, but I think we'll pay a woman to take her clothes off, and then we'll all pretend like that's not an uncomfortable situation. <laughs> oh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I might lick whipped cream off a guy with a six-pack. What? <laughs> what? So, should we do something to, like, make this official, or...? Are you thinking badges? Matching tracksuits? No, I was, I'm thinking, like, we tell the government about this conversation, and then we see if they could change your last name to my last name. I'm good. It'll probably be a lot of paperwork for you. Yeah, I don't want that. No, I, th I, know, I think you should definitely take my last name. That way, everybody knows that you're mine. But how do they know you're mine? Oh, there's no need for that. Oh, oh, it's a double standard. Oh, I get it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Are we gonna do this forever? Well, for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Oh, so okay, so if you die, it's not like I have to hang out with your corpse. I right? wouldn't do that, no. Yeah. Yeah, because I might get weird looks. Oh, um, what if one of us gets sick? Would you, well, are you thinking like flu or coma? Like either. <laughs> well, there's a lot of gray area there. But I'd probably stay for the flu and maybe leave for the coma. Okay, but like, what if I wake up <laughs> like, in like 10 years and then you start a family and, and have kids and stuff? Yeah. Oh, you don't want that. No, I just like I, like, I would understand, but I feel like we should just be black and white about it. You know what? You're right. Okay. So like, in sickness and in health. Yeah, sounds good. For richer or poorer. Uh, what? <laughs> together forever. No, wait, what was that last bit? You just glossed over something at the end. It was together forever. Uh, it's just that our financial situation is going to have serious implications on the success of our I just, I love you so much. Just, it might be the number one reason for why couples break up. Together. <laughs> forever. You know what? I'm swept up in the moment. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> so should we go take some pictures in like an autumnal forest or? Autumnal hey, forest. Here. Too good. This is, this is actually from her channel. Okay. Yeah, that's how she they connected it. Ah. So basically, they put that on his channel so that you could drive traffic to her channel afterwards. Because like a lot of people probably haven't seen this one that we just watched. Yeah. So now you all know. You can also subscribe to Julie Nolke's channel. There you go. So. Um, Ryan says government funny. He says He's government. Canadian. It's also that he likes to play with words. Uh -huh. He likes to play with logic. That's the shtick with his channel. Is like taking apart all these things that we take for granted that maybe we shouldn't. He has a whole bit about going to restaurants and like the very first restaurant to be open. So you go in and you can't just sit yourself. The person has to take you to a seat and you don't see the person making your food. You don't see your food being prepared. Yeah. It's some stranger you never meet. <laughs> you never see the food being made. Yeah. And he breaks it down in such a way that you go, huh, like, I didn't even consider that <laughs> and how like insane that is. Yeah. And so he breaks apart a lot of these like things, these tropes, these ideas, traditions that we just take for granted. And so this is obviously another one. Yeah. It's just the silliness of it all and the silliness of just life and humanity. Yeah, it's like who made all of these rules? There's just so much. <laughs> well, I mean, it's weird, but we are governed by the evolution of rules from dead people. That's it in a nutshell. They weren't dead when they made the rules, obviously, yeah. but like they're dead now. They were ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> the rules made by people who are now dead and they've evolved in ways that don't necessarily make the most amount of sense, but that's how they are now. Like marriage wasn't always about love between two people. It was about merging oh, yeah. real estate or power, mm -hmm. land, you know, it was about possession more than anything. Women didn't really have a lot of uh, power in that situation. Now they do. Yeah. <laughs> now it's all about the woman's special day, which is just, it's just so strange how things <laughs> have evolved and like where it's come from, how it's ended up. Even like the concept of monogamy is like just so kind of weird to me. Like if you just sit down and think about it for two seconds, just like how often 
often people break up and get divorced and like relationships end and then people get back together again like let's do this forever yeah. <laughs> you know it's just sort of like this myopic idea where you just assume things are gonna be fine forever and not take into consideration that people evolve over time and yeah. change. Like you at 25 are gonna be fundamentally different than you at 45. Exactly. And to just agree to that forever, it's like, I love the idea of marriage. I grew up with Disney, so, yeah. you know, we talked about that <laughs> last did. time, you know. That's our problem. Yeah. We just have this like fantasy fairy tale in our minds, but yeah. you're absolutely right. Like people evolve in the same way that friendships evolve. Exactly. Like there aren't very many friendships that last a lifetime like you right. go through like the seasons of friendships the same way that you would go through like a season of a relationship right. and I always just think and this is no shade to anyone that gets married in high school but like when I was in high school to like now mm -hmm. I'm just a completely different woman and I don't know that I would be able to stay with the same person unless they're evolving at the same time which is in the I same think, way yeah, yeah in the same way which yeah. I think is very Unlikely. Um, yeah, yeah, rare. But then you have marriage and commitment. Like, I think we talked about this a long time ago, like one of my first videos I did with you. Marriage and love to me is like a choice every day. It's not an yeah. easy choice. Sometimes it's like the hardest choice to do, but you make that choice and that is what gives you, you know, a 50 year marriage, things like that. These two were, were really funny together. Yeah. The divorce, the part that got me at the end when she was like, is it gonna affect the kids? She's like, no. Mm. <laughs> and then it just cuts off because that's a whole other story. Julie Nolke, I, I'm probably messing up her name, but what I liked about her is that she was able to, I mean, I don't know if it's just her way of behaving anyhow, but she was able to match Ryan George's sort of cadence and behavior yeah. really, really, really well. Like the way that he stylistically does his videos, it's very specific because that's not how he talks. Mm -hmm. He has a very particular cadence in the way that he does his videos yeah. and she matched it perfectly. Yeah, she did. Like, if I could, I would love to never see your face uh, ever again. Well, one can only hope. They're like, I would want to never see your face again. Like, I want to impale you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever felt that way towards a significant other? Like, before you broke up or after you broke up? Maybe a little bit. I feel like I've reached that height, but usually it's a thing that is very temporary and fleeting. Like, I get to that point and then it backs down. And I'm like, oh, that person's actually kind of cool. But like, it's like this. Yeah, it's, it's an <laughs> ebb and flow, but that's usually how toxic relationships are. It's like you hit those super high, intense, heated moments yeah, and then you come back yeah. down, you're like, oh, maybe it'll, you sort of just go back and forth between the two until it culminates in some kind of massive explosion. I don't know that I've ever felt like impaling someone. I've gotten enraged. Like I've gotten really, really mad, but th at the same time, like, sorry for being crass, but that was some of the best sex I ever had in my life. Like was that was with that person. Mm -hmm. So it's like the highest highs That's why and you the lowest stay lows. in those relationships. Yeah, because they're amazing. At the same time, they're horrific. <laughs> it's the worst thing, but yeah. also the best thing. <laughs> yeah, and so like my concentration now in my 30s is to like focus on, because I know what I'm attracted to. So I have to like walk that line carefully and go, okay, this is what you're into. So now you have to find a way to have that healthy. <laughs> You know, that's the yeah. hard part. And then you find the healthy version and you're like, mm. Don't shut up my dreams. It's We're gonna make this work. Flavorful. No, no, it's possible, it's possible. Uh, I have had more healthy relationships than unhealthy ones, so um, I believe in you. Well, you can leave then. <laughs> then get out. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Check out Natasha Martinez on the social media. Thank you again to Ryan George and uh, Julie Nolke for, I mean, assuming that she allows us to react to this as well, because we looked at her video. Thank you to Ryan George for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and our interview with Ryan George. I'm Jabby Kuwait. this is. Natasha Martinez. Peace out.